Hello you absolute legends, welcome back to the channel. Crystal's here with me today in a video that uh, I've been wanting to do for a little while really. Um, it's uh, in the garage and it's been locked in the garage since 2015 and it's my very first car. So I thought today I would share with you my very first car here in this video. If you haven't already smashed the subscribe button, please do so. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and give me a comment. Here it is then. Uh, it's in my, I say, reserve garage. This is the garage of stuff that doesn't normally get touched. We've seen that one in other videos and we've seen another garage. Uh, and Crystal is here today helping me as I take a look at this because I'm toying with the idea of getting rid of it or restoring it to its former glory. There's two options. Um, we'll uncover it then, we'll have a chat about it, we'll have a look at what it is and have a look at its current condition. First and foremost though, let's get this out of the way. This is a hater mower, brilliant mowers by the way. Uh, great for lawn striping. Um, here are some number plates on this uh, garage door of cars that came before. Uh, and this is the number plate of this car that we're looking at today, W232MFP. Which, uh, in case you haven't realised already, is a Nissan Micra. Um, and it was bought for me by my father from the garage that he worked for at the time. It's a flame red Micra. And at the moment it's got a Austin Montego cover on here. Um, if you've got an Austin Montego and you want a genuine dealership cover, well, there's one for you, I suppose. Uh, let's take these off here then. Mrs John Cooper's got all sorts of bits and pieces just shoved on it. And this is genuinely, I haven't looked at this car since 2015. Um, I haven't pumped the tyres up, as you can see, they're all flat as a pancake. Um, and I haven't had any sort of look at it. So you are going to be um, seeing what I'm seeing for the very first time today. Let's get the cover off then. We'll start by taking off these. And the reason I've got the cover over the wheels like that is just so... I can see if the wheels are depleting or not. And uh, yeah, you will see that we'll start to take the cover off and have a look at her. We're struggling. I'm struggling to do this one-handed, I won't lie. Let's try this side. This is a broken pressure washer, by the way, if anyone wants a broken pressure washer. Um, right, we're doing okay. So far, so good. I'll try and get this other garage door open at some point as well in the video crystal motor group not crystal the labrador but crystal motor group that is where the car was supplied uh, this is the original tax disc look 07 2000 amazing i've totally forgotten about this and i won't lie she's in much better condition than i expected at this point let's just take this cover i'm not going to take the cover all the way off because i won't then be able to get the blooming thing back on but You'll be able to see here, and we're in with the MR2, and this obviously clearly goes out and about a lot more. And if you haven't seen the video of my MR2 on the channel, then I would suggest you check that out. Well, there she is then. Um, looking resplendent in the red. I won't lie, not as bad as I expected at this stage. So this is a Nissan Micra. It's a one liter it's a nissan micro sport um quite a rare model in all honesty here is the sport badge at the back there um and as i say quite a rare model because people tend to have got the s the se or the super sport the sport plus the sport version was really a little bit of a mishmash of all sorts of things and you can see that at some point in my life i've chaved it up a little bit because i had blacked out windows at the back here which i think look quite good um things you got differently with your sport then you got this different boiler uh, boiler spoiler you obviously had the sport badge you had color coded uh, bumper inlets here you had the gray um, mud flaps and there's no gray mud flaps on the front because i didn't have any at the time but i have actually got some up there in storage so they will uh, in the end go back on the car and um, you've got other things like color coded wing mirrors and this rumble strip down the side here uh, is a little bit of a different style um alloy wheels as well we've got uh, ronal alloy wheels on there that were spec'd from factory 
I am the second owner of this vehicle, as far as I'm aware. Uh, it was bought by the original owner. It was then traded in at my dad's garage, and dad bought it for me as my very first car. So when I got it, 24,000 miles on the clock, and I think now we're going to be into the 100,000 miles because I used it as my daily driver from 2006, maybe, 2007, to 2015 when I uh, met Mrs. John Coupland. She said, you can get rid of that little red noddy car, and uh, I did. Well, I did. I put it in the garage. I bought my Audi A4 B5 and put this little one in here, and that is where it has stood. Right, let's take a look then inside. So far, looking so good. Um, I've got some blebbing on this wing here that has occurred uh, that wasn't there when i put the car into storage um i know that the other side has done the same uh, well i would assume it will have done the same because they both had wings at the same time uh, we've got a little bit of deterioration along the roof line here that's a big shame that is a deterioration of the red paint there um little touch-up mark here. The car isn't perfect. It wasn't perfect when I got it. Um, it has a ding in the roof here uh, and all sorts of dings all down the side because as I, say, I used it as my everyday car for about, well, over 10 years really. Um, let's have a look inside then. Here she is. And the interior is looking quite good. Normally these door cards tend to sag. Um, the cloth here looking nice, the trim all in here looking nice, and you can see that the sills themselves actually are relatively good. This has never had any sill work, it's just dirt. Dirt has probably re stopped the car from deteriorating. It stinks, it absolutely stinks, it smells damp. Um, I need to get one of these dehumidifiers in here, I think. Let's go through the spider webs then and have a look inside there are loads and loads of spider webs in here um it's obviously a three door so we've got the driver's side door that side um and this is the dash in the interior these seats feel a little bit damp but not too damp they feel nice and tight actually that is lovely uh lovely and tight the bolsters here have not deteriorated either um, I am shocked, actually, that it's not as mouldy. We've got mould here on the gear gator. Uh, obviously, the handbrake is off, so fingers crossed shouldn't be stuck on. What else have we got in here? Oh, there's the keys. I wondered where they'd gone. Uh, Boston Audi. Oh, right, well, that's obviously for my Audi. I didn't realise they that was there. I need to find that. Uh, put that back with my Audi keys. Um... Little Nissan keyring. Yeah, brilliant, excellent. Uh, what else have I got in here? I've got the original blanking plug for the lighter. Let's put that in here. Uh, DC 12 volts. That's in there now then. Uh, there's an old sat-nav as well. Crikey, let's have a look at this. This is going to be very old. Yeah. <laughs> what an ancient thing. Running on Windows CE Core 5. Does it have a date on it? Mm, doesn't have a date on it. Uh, I would suggest I bought that when I first started driving, so that would have been 2006, 2007. I bet that doesn't work. What else have we got in the front here, then? We've got an aftermarket stereo. I haven't uh, found the original stereo yet, but I do have it. I do have the original stereo. The dash, obviously, is not displaying anything because we've not got uh, any power to in here. And we've got a sunroof here. The sunroof is closed. Uh, open, let's close it. Oh, yeah, I knew that would be the case. We've got a lovely, big, dirty line <laughs> where the sunroof has uh, remained um, open. This is a twist and pop sunroof. No damage around there, as far as I can see. It shouldn't leak. Uh, let's look in the back then, see what we've got in here. We've got all the original floor mats as well. These are grey and red, which is how it should be with the car. We've got a set of original Nissan um, seat protectors here into the bench seat, which obviously folds down at the back there and some Nissan 
flame red um, seat belt protectors. Very good. This is bringing back a lot of memories. I'm quite emotional actually. Uh, sat here. Let's try and open the boot then. We've got the keys. See what's in there. I think it's full of crap. Um, I think it's full of stuff. Um, see if I can get the boot open without damaging anything. Well, she popped. That's the first sign. Okay. Slowly open the boot. See what we've got in here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's full of stuff. Uh, I knew it would be. What's in here? I've got a brand new seat here. There's goodies in here I didn't know about, so I'm going to have to have a look at what's in here. Uh, old number plates, number plate surrounds. Uh, God, there's loads of number plates in here. Where's all these number plates come from? Um, Nissan stuff under there. More of these Nissan seat protectors. Um, ah, this is cool. I think that's well. That's a set of Nissan overalls. Nissan overalls. More Nissan stuff. That might be an old radio, actually. What's this? Uh, that's a set of Nissan floor mats. I think this is what I want to show you, if I can get it out. This was my dad's garage. Uh, back in 1964. Uh, he didn't own it in 64. Obviously this is the, uh, the site though, back in the 60s. Cool. Uh, I'm going to have to probably sort all this out because there's a load of stuff in here that we don't need. I've got the original boot liner as well, proper Nissan boot liner in there. So that's inside the boot. Let's have a look at the engine bay and then we'll finish the video. I'll just make sure I don't trap this in here else I'll have an absolute mare getting it back. There. Oh. I'm probably going to have to do that anyway when the video is over. Make sure I've got the keys. Yes, I've got the keys. Oh, <laughs> and as I've done that, uh, the wiper blade has fell off. Great. Right, let's see if I can get this over here. Back over. Yep, good. That's fine. Um, right, let's open the engine bay then and have a look at that. I'm not feeling confident. I am surprised that this wheel arch hasn't gone as crusty as I'd expected it to. Looking quite good under there, actually. Minimal jobs to get it back on the road. And if you weren't... Um, being precious of it, you could probably have it on the road in a couple of afternoons. Uh, right, let's open the engine bay. I'm going to have to put you down. So miraculously as I expected, uh, the engine bay is not looking too smart. Um, this is obviously going to be the worst of the jobs, getting her back road worthy. Under here, not too bad. There's a little bit of corrosion, um, but nothing life-threatening obviously the bonnet grill and badge looking good but under here uh, I think we've got quite a big problem um, in getting this back road worthy uh, under here it's certainly got that dust you know that corrosion dust that you get on engine blocks uh, and obviously some Wally has left the battery connected um, but all in all, I'm not phased by it, but it is something that will definitely not be done in an afternoon. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, show you that because, as I say, this was the first time I was coming in here and getting the car open and having a look um, to see the state of affairs. Before I consider what I'm going to do, the likelihood is it'll be a case of getting it out getting it in dad's garage, getting her mechanically checked out first to make sure that it's going to be a feasible job to do, um, and then start looking at the cosmetic side of things. See how rusty it is. I sadly can't get to the other side today, but I have a funny feeling it's going to be cosmetically worse than this side, um, i.e. the back wheel arch. That side was starting to go when I was driving the car, but the sills, mm, yeah, they seem nice and tidy still. 
Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, thought I'd share it with you. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Let me know, what would you do with the car? Pop it in the uh, comments below. Until next time, have a great day. And hopefully I'll give you some updates on the Micra uh, over the next year or so. Goodbye.